Hi guys, welcome to another iCreate video tutorial. Today we're taking a look at OS10 Yosemite's new notification center. So by now you've probably downloaded Yosemite and you've probably tried out some of its new features. Um, notification center is one of these cool new features and it's got a ton of functionality that is well worth a look. So I'm just going to take you through a little bit of it today. We're going to start with the notifications view. Of course you can still get all of your notifications here. Um, your latest messages or, or missed calls etc will all appear here um, but for now the main focus of this tutorial is going to be on the today view because that's seen the biggest changes. Now as you can see uh, from this view uh, there's a lot of widgets in this sidebar that weren't necessarily here in OS 10 Mavericks. So for a start we've got the new social section where you can type a tweet or upload to Facebook or write a message really quickly. Um, we've also got the basics like calendar and uh, weather and even reminders down here. But we can also see that there's a third party app called Yahoo Sports. What this means is that third party apps have now been given access to the notification center and you can use widgets from them to show information at a glance. This one, Yahoo Sports, is a really cool sports app. You can basically see your your favorite team's recent results, their upcoming fixtures, and you can also add new teams that you want to follow. Now, to edit the notification center, simply click edit at the bottom. You'll see that there are a new list of widgets down the right hand side. The green ones with the plus, you can add to your notification center. Here we're going to add the calculator, and we're also going to add the third party wonder list uh, widget. So we can drag these up and down the list using these grabbers on the right hand side. Here we're just moving calculator down, we're also going to move one list down slightly. But of course we can also remove those that we don't need. So our calendar is empty at the moment, so we're going to cancel that out and make up a, make a little bit more space. When we're happy with how it looks, we're going to hit done at the bottom and we see that uh, the notification center re returns to its standard state, but with these new widgets in place. All of these widgets are interactive, so you can click on the calculator and work out any calculations you want. Many of these widgets are interactive, so you'll be able to uh, type into the calculator, for example, and get quick uh, answers to your calculations. And there are loads of third-party apps that are now supporting uh, notification center widgets, so take a look on the App Store and see which ones best fit your needs. You can get more information about the notification center and how your notifications are listed by clicking the cog down in the bottom right hand corner of the notification center. This will open up the notifications section of system preferences and you can see all of the apps that are allowed in notification center on the left hand side of the screen as well as being able to control when do not disturb activates and other options. To get more information about the third party extensions that you're using in Notification Center, click this button at the top to return to the overall view of system preferences, and then click on the extensions panel down below. Now you can see that you've got your third party apps listed here, uh, each with their options available. So both Wonderlist and Yahoo Sports have both been ticked for the today view, which is what they are called when they're shown in Notification Center. We're also going to add Wonderlist for the share menu because that's a useful thing to have. That's about it for the new Notification Center in OS 10 Yosemite. There are loads of great third party apps that use the new widgets feature, so check out as many as you can and try and customize your Notification Center so that it's the perfect setup for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and also check out the website icreatemagazine.com and you can also take a look at our brand new youtube channel which is youtube.com forward slash icreate live it's got loads of cool tutorials on mac and ios topics so check them out and see if there's anything that takes your fancy thanks for watching again guys and we'll see you in the next episode